Hey, how are you? I'm good. Quick question, though. Uh, do you still have power? Storm hit you too, huh? Yeah, I lost power a couple minutes ago. My electric blanket, heater, and heat lamp both went out. Mom always told me to get a battery-powered heat lamp just in case this happened, but guess who kept procrastinating on buying one? I did. <laughs> That's actually why I called. I was gonna see if I could come to your place and warm up, but I guess not. Oh no, you really shouldn't. I don't want you coming over in this blizzard. That could be dangerous. No, really, I'll be fine. I'm sure the power will be back on in a couple of minutes. It's not a big deal. You're really not gonna keep this up, are you? Fine, you can come over. Just be careful, okay? I don't want to turn on the news tomorrow and hear about you flying into a snowdrift. You promise to drive slow? Right. I'll see you in a little bit. Wait, before you hang up. Uh, thank you. This means a lot. You made it. Yeah, just c c come to the bedroom and get under this blanket pile and uh, I can coil around you. You're so warm. Sorry about my scales. I know they're freezing. Oh, a cocoa. Thank you. to be warm-blooded. You humans don't know how good you have it. <laughs> Seriously, I've been jealous of that ever since I was a hatchling. <laughs> you remember how much I would wrap around you when we were kids? <laughs> Speaking of, can I go a little tighter, please? <sighs> Thank you. do it. <laughs> Remember that time your dad asked if you needed any blankets and you said, no, I know she'll end up wrapped around me eventually. That's warm enough. <laughs> oh, don't remind me of that part. Our parents were so annoying about trying to get us to be a thing. My mom was way too insistent that we had crushes on each other, no matter how many times I told her them were only friends. <laughs> yeah, I hated how they would not so discreetly talk about how cute we were as a couple. <laughs> made me cringe as a first grader, and it still made me cringe when we were in high school. <laughs> At least they've calmed down about that now. Or maybe it's because they don't have eyes on us 24-7, I don't know.
That's true. There was that period in middle school when we kind of sort of dated. But it was mainly because of peer pressure and neither of us were really into it. Oh god, our first date. Ugh, that was so weird. Don't remind me of what I did. At least, we learned how much better we were as friends. Yeah. In the future, we were 100% wingmanning each other. Speaking of, how's your partner doing? Oh, that's great to hear. Have you done anything special together lately? Well, that's sweet of you. I'm sure they appreciated it. Hmm. Me? No, I'm still not in the dating scene. I don't really think it's my thing, you know? Everything's easier as a lone snake. Well, everything's heating up in a stupid blizzard. If you don't mind, can I steal some more of your heat? You later I've decided for you. <laughs> Are you still breathing okay? Mm, good. As much as I want warmth, I don't want to suffocate you. I would guarantee that I freeze to death. Oh, and I guess I kind of like having you around, but that's a distant second place. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know we're best friends. been out for might have been a literal lifesaver today. I'm serious. Cold-blooded people are not meant to be in this weather without power. That's actually how my great uncle Yuki died. Oh, you don't need to apologize. I didn't know the guy at all. But my mom made her to tell me that story over and over and over again when I moved out on my own. That's probably why she was so insistent I buy a battery-powered heat lamp. At least I know what I'm doing when the storm passes. <laughs> no, I'm not upset with her. I get that she was just looking out for me. I'd do the same thing if I was in her scales, wouldn't you? Speaking of kids, sorry this is a random side tangent. I still have that bracelet you gave me back in third grade. The one with a half heart. Do you still have yours? Good. I guess that means we're still best friends. <gasps> yes! I'm finally free from the frigid hellscape that is my powerless room. <sighs> Seriously, I am glad to have the power back. Now I can make some popcorn and finish my movie. Why are you heading home? Well, thank you so much for coming over to warn me up. As I said, you're a lifesaver. Alright, see you around. Bye! Jeez, uh, what's going on out there? Whiteout conditions, huh? Damn. Well... I guess you're stuck with me for the time being. <laughs> you know, why don't we take advantage of this opportunity? Let's have another sleepover like the old days. Yes, me coiling around you and Clint. It wouldn't be one of our sleepovers if I didn't do that, would it? <laughs> if you don't mind, could you make the popcorn? I'm still a little sluggish from the cold. <laughs> Thanks. To make it fair, you can pick the movie. Yes, even if you pick the nerdiest one, you can find. I know I'm not as nerdy as you, but we both obsessed over those old superhero cartoons, remember? Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Love you, bestie. <laughs>